Today we're going to be tying the alveolar. Stop your thread base at the bend of the hook and trim the tag end. Take a small clump of bow tail the length of the shank, tying it in just before the bend. Make a couple wraps between the tail and the shank, then cut the tag end right before the eye of the hook. Take two matching full white strung hackle feathers and strip excess feathers off before tying them in place. Trim the stems to length and then advance your thread to behind the eye of the hook. Then bring your thread back down to the bend. Tie in the strand of flashaboo but off center on each side of the shank. Then trim them to length. Fold both strands back. Then make a couple thread wraps, pinning the longer strands of flashaboo facing rearward. Tie in one white hackle feather. Peel some of the flash off the chenille before tying it in. Now that it's tied in, advance your thread up behind the eye. Now make connecting wraps up the shank with the chenille. Tie in your chenille. And then trim the tag end. You can take a moment to clean up around the eye of the hook. Trim a flat section on each side of the shank. This will give somewhere for the flashaboo to lay flat.
Start making equally spaced wraps with the white hackle feather, working it into the chenille. Make a couple wraps just behind the eye of the hook. Then tie in the hackle feather. Trim the tag end. Bring the long strands of flashubu forward one at a time, pulling them tight and tying them in. Make sure they are straight and pulled tight before locking them in place. Repeat on the other side. Then double them back, making a couple thread wraps. This will keep them from pulling out. Trim the tag ends. Build up a small thread dam before whip finishing and cutting the thread. Trim up around the eye if needed. Apply head cement or UV cure to your thread. Take your 3D eyes and stick them in place on either side of the fly. Apply some UV cure over the eyes. Overlap onto the fly itself and then hit it with the light. This will help lock them in place and keep them from falling off. Repeat on the other side.
At this point, this fly is extremely fishable. But if you want to play with more UV cure or a glue gun, continue watching. We are going to use a thick UV cure instead of a glue gun that is traditionally used on this fly. Apply the UV resin over the eyes and down the flash about. Use your bodkin to flatten it out before hitting it with your light. You will do this for both sides of the fly. Now we will start to build up the head by applying your resin and spinning your vise. You can see I'm starting close to the eye to the hook and then slowly working away from it. Use your bodkin for any touch-up work. Hit it with the light to cure the resin. Take a minute to fill any holes or divots in the head with your UV cure and then hit it with the light again. And if the sides of the fly looks like they should have another coat, Feel free to add as many as needed, and then make sure to go over the entire fly one more time with your light and cure up everything. The steps are very similar with the glue gun, but today's day and age, not everybody has one in the house. And there you have the PG-13 Albior.